السلام علیکم فرینڈ ویلکم ٹو انیدر ویڈیو اباؤٹ دی سیمیٹک مینیجر سوری فور ڈیٹ آئی ہیف کریٹڈ مینی ویڈیوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو سیمیٹک مینیجر آپریشنز ایز آئی ہیف ڈسکرڈز دی بٹ لوجک آپریشن ایف یو ہیو نوٹ واش ڈیٹ ویڈیو پلیز گو ٹو دی چینل اینڈ فرسٹ watch the all the operation related to bit logic operation i have discussed all the things here after that i i discuss one by one the comparator function and the converter uh, i will discuss the later about the converter today i am interested to discuss about the counter function in a semantic manager okay the counter uh, here we see uh, normally we have the counter three type uh, number one is the CUD CUD means counter up and down means that this counter can be used for up count and down count at the same time the second counter I have the count up and this will only count uh, up from 0 to 1 and as we will set the values okay and this is count down it will count down from uh, let's say you set the preset value 10 then it will count from 10 to 9 8 like that okay so uh, today I will discuss about the uh, up counter and I will discuss and dis uh, try to disclose all the secret of the uh, up counter in the semantic manager how can you use okay so let's I just insert one network and uh, I will just here create uh, one network and just I'll take the normally open contact and after that I will take the count up okay normally open is actually count up this is the input on the logic operation of this input means the logic operation of uh, this input whenever it will be from 0 to 1 this counter will count 1 okay so uh, let me give the address let's say I give i0.2 because I have already used i0.0 and 0.1 so I just use i0.2 and this counter I just take c1 uh, the counter number of a counter in a in your CPU depends on the model of a CPU if you uh, what you are using so if you want to see that how many counter I can use so you go to the property of your CPU and check there how many counter is there available in your CPU so just I take normally you will find 25 26 uh, 26 counter in a CPU a 7 um, if I talk about the s7 300 or 400 <coughs> okay <coughs> just to, just to make uh, it simple um, I will just take uh, uh, the input pulse okay and I will save the value in the count value let's say MB 0 okay memory byte 0 I take the to store the value from the uh, of the counter okay I will just save it and download it uh, as as my previous as for my previous practice I have opened the semantic manager before in order to save the time I will just uh, make it online by this button now it is online okay okay it is online uh, why this is uh, you saying that it is high because uh, I think I have used this memory before let me uh, let me make it first zero okay uh, I take MB uh, let's say I move 0 to MB 0 I store the value 0 okay and also I will send MB 0 to MB uh, 1 okay and also MB because this memory I have used somewhere in my program so it may, might have some previous value which, which will, will make it confuse okay see it is showing again this it has the value of 5 which one MB 0 why I it, even though I have sent this value here if not that I will take another memory address might be it have somewhere some from somewhere is being latched okay you see it is showing again mb0 have a value 5 okay I'm not going to take mb0 let's say I take mb03 okay 
it might <coughs> get you confused okay okay this also have the value 5 mb3 okay mb4 oh these all have value 4 4 4 why 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 counter okay mb 10 okay i remember why why let's i change is c2 okay just to make you more clear this happen when when you do programming you sometime you get many unexpected result okay now this is okay let me show you mb0 save and download okay now it makes sense okay now uh i have moved uh, actually the problem was that i remember before that i used the counter 1 uh, so the counter 1 for the value of counter 1 for all the location it was showing the values in the respective values but i have changed the counter 2 okay for the counter 2 uh, i have taken the memory address mb0 and i will remove this one uh delete save and download and online okay now from the simulator uh, i uh, you you see that i0.2 is the input pulse on which this counter should start counting from 0 to 1 the current value is 0 okay this become i w 0 0.0 0.1 this is 0.2 when i click it now see start 1 okay now on the second 2 3 and 4 it's so on it means is is being count up 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 direction from 0 to onward okay so this is so far simple now let's talk about that uh, how we can reset this counter value let's say uh, after counting from 0 to 10 if there i i should give any pulse to reset this value from uh, from 10 to 0 for that you have to use this input i so input of r let's say i give him i 0.3 okay and i save it and download and make it online now let's say i again give one pulse okay okay so you check now the count value is 6 now if i want to make it 0 what will i will do i will provide the pulse high pulse at the input of i0.3 this will this input actually will reset this counter to the initial value of 0 so this is the i0.3 okay i give it and see the values become 0000 okay so in this way you can uh, create the logic to count the counter value from 0 to uh, any value uh, it depends on the uh, the memory address you are using i will explain that how many uh, counter uh, your cpu should have and what is the maximum value you can count in by this counter by a single counter okay what next that if you let's say if you want to set an uh, Uh, the uh, input of a set and preset value let's say i give here one normally open contact and i give it i0.4 as a input and i want to give any preset value means that whenever i give the input pulse at i0. Uh, 4 the counter value sh should initialize to the value which i give here at the input of pv so for that uh, i uh, what i will do i will just insert one block and here i will move any value let's say i give 5 to ib uh, 1 means that i am moving constant 5 to memory byte 1 and i will assign this memory address here 
okay and save and download now check the operation again from very initial initially this counter has a zero value okay I give the I0.2 to count it it's counting now its value is 3 okay now its value is 3 if I press the I0.3 this value should become 0 now it's 0 okay it's makes sense so far it is clear but let's say I want this counter to start counting from the 5 so what will I have to do I have to give this spells to initialize this counter to the values of MB1 which is 5 so what input should I give I 0.4 as I give 0.4 you see the counter value initialize by 5 and now if I give the input pulse at I 0.2 it will start counting from the onward 5 let's say I 0.2 not start see is counting from 5 to 6 7 8 now 9 like that so on okay now again if you want to initialize this counter to initial value whichever which you moved uh, have moved to mb1 now you have what we have to do you have to provide the value at i0.4 see when i give 0 to high pulse its value become 5 again if you give the pulse it will start counting okay now uh, let me count to 10 let's see it has you will see the two values 10 and a because the this value showing the decimal uh, values and other one is showing in the, uh, into the hexadecimal value okay like 11 is equal to b 12 is equal to c like that okay hexadecimal and decimal both values you can see so uh, i think these are the clear about the counter but this is the up counter uh, which you can use to count the value so in this video what you learned that how can we use the counter how can we initialize the counter how can we reset the counter these are the basic uh, input of the up counter which you can use in any programming log logic to count any values okay if you want to see more details about this counter you just right uh, just click this one and press f1 so you can get to help of this counter so you can get more detail about the counter that what is counter and how many counter uh, what is the maximum value you see uh, the counter is increment by one if the signal is set at the input c u is changes from 0 to 1 and the value of counter is less than 999 means it can count from 9992 okay so it's clear i think I hope you understand these all things next time I will discuss about the down counter and then I will conclude with the up and down counter together to make you clear about all the things about the counter hope you like the video if you like please don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you want to see the previous logic operation comparator please go to go through the channel and watch all the videos so that you get the grip on that uh, before we move further okay thank you very much take very good care of yourself meet you next time uh, with the same channel same channel thank you and bye bye allah office